We have more breaking news tonight. I just got a hold of Governor Mike Parson's request for a disaster declaration a couple of hours ago. This after President Donald Trump approved part of the state's request for that declaration. It shows the state is still looking for federal help to deal with a crush of unemployment claims and its multi-million dollar cost. Local first responders may get some federal help to buy protective equipment. Just a few hours ago, President Donald Trump approved part of Missouri's disaster declaration. It allows government and nonprofit agencies to now get reimbursed by FEMA for buying protective equipment. The state has already spent $17 million on things like face masks and surgical gowns for hospitals, EMS, police, and firefighters. But Governor Mike Parson also wants help paying for unemployment claims. The state saw 42,000 claims this week alone, which amounts to more than $10 million in new weekly payments if they're all approved. The state says nearly 170,000 people losing work are self-employed and may not qualify for traditional unemployment benefits. Many will also come from food service. The Missouri Restaurant Association says more than 210,000 workers there will be laid off for an extended period of time. The state also wants at least $36 million in crisis counseling programs. You can see a breakdown of those costs on your screen. That program helps the state set up things like hotlines and community events to help people affected cope with the disaster. There's no word on when the White House may decide on those programs.